Cheers. Hey guys, it is October 30th today. So tomorrow's Halloween and tonight I'm going to a Halloween party. So I decided to get ready early and do my October favorites as Sandy from Greece. I will insert a picture here of my full costume. I had a lot of fun with this. This is all from my closet. I didn't have to buy one single item for this costume, which is the best kind of costume. The only way I could have made it better was to not have pink hair, because Sandy obviously doesn't have pink hair. So it's my favorite time of the month. It's time to talk about all of my favorite products that I found and used this month. And I have just a few, but they're all really, really good ones. I always start with food, but we're gonna start with beauty products, because one of them I'm wearing right now, and it's something that I don't get to use a whole lot because I honestly hate red lipstick on myself, but it is the OCC Lip Tars, and this is the Pro's Pick 3.0 pack. So you get four colors and a clear like base and top coat, and two are matte and two are shimmers, and I just love this product. I don't like to wear lipstick because I feel like I wear it and then I go out and I eat and drink and do stuff like you do when you go out and my lipstick wears off and I don't realize and it's like patchy or there's just my bare lips and it looks weird or there's like remnants of lipstick. So this stuff really stays put and I can see why it's called lip tar because it really doesn't go anywhere. And the thing that I really, really like about it is it doesn't bleed outside your lip. They're just like these little, whoa. So they're these little tubes, they're tiny, but these last forever. You need like a half of a pea size to cover your lips and you just squirt it on to a lipstick brush. And then the other thing I love about buying the entire set is it comes with a lipstick brush. I think these things are like 10 bucks a piece, but if you get the set, you get five for like 30. And you have all the colors you ever need and it's like a lifetime supply because they last forever. But yeah, I'll make sure I link these down below so you can go check them out. And there's a wide variety of colors. They go from the orangey red that I'm wearing to like a copper um, and a bronze. And then there's like a Barbie pink, which is really cool. And they're great to wear under a gloss. So like the Barbie pink, it's super, super pink, but I like to wear it underneath like a nude colored gloss or a purpley gloss and it totally changes the color of it. They're just great, they're good products. I really, really like them. And they're 100% vegan and cruelty free if you care about that kind of thing. For me, that's a bonus. This next product I'm obsessed with. I've had it for like a week and I'm halfway through it because I use it like a crazy person. If you've watched my favorite videos before, you might have seen me talk about the Primal Pit Paste which is a deodorant that I use every single day. It's an all natural deodorant. It has no parabens, no chemicals, and no aluminum. And the same company just came out with what they call their whip stick, and it's a body lotion bar. I have it in thyme and lemongrass, and it smells heavenly. It smells so clean, but it's a little bit sweet, and the scent does last, which I like because when I put it on, it acts as a lotion and as kind of like a perfume, especially on days where I'm not getting like all dolled up. I know that I smell pretty good because I'm wearing this. I also haven't talked about this on my channel before, but I have this skin thing where I have like little red dots all over my arms. And this has really helped with that. There is a technical name for it and I just can't think of what it is right now, but I've tried everything, like the Gold Bond, Bumpy, Ruffy, whatever, rough skin, that doesn't work. I've used literally like $30 an ounce from the Dermatologist lotion, that doesn't help. This is the first product I've used that actually combats it. It doesn't cure it by any means, but I can definitely tell that there's a difference when I wear this. The other thing I love about it is it's a stick. So you literally take off the lid and you just rub it on your skin and you can rub it in, but you don't have to. It's nice and thick and it goes a long way. And oh my gosh, it just smells so good. Like I love it. So go check this company out. I will link them down below. They have really awesome natural products and this is like my new favorite. It's so good. The last beauty product I have, I also used on this getup, and that is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I really like my 
it's not even a bronzer. It's just like a matte face powder from Mineral Fusion and I use that on a daily basis. But this is really good if you're doing like big time makeup looks because it gives you a lot of options in one, easy, compact. And it's nice to travel with too. So there's three like bronzing colors and then there's two matte powders and a highlighting powder. This yellowish powder is called Banana and it's my favorite for setting my under eyes. It like really makes them pop and it gives them a lot of brightness. And then for this obnoxious contour that I have going on for my Halloween costume, I use this like brick red bronzer and I haven't used it yet because I really haven't had a reason to use it, but it gives you that like really orangey costume-like contour. So it was perfect for this. I usually use this guy in the center. It's just like a dusty brown. And then sometimes if I'm like going out at night, I'll use a little bit of the darker one to kind of hollow out my cheeks. But this whole set is incredible to, like I said, travel with because you don't have to worry about bringing a million and a half compacts. And it's nice and thin and sleek and it's a great product. I even like the highlighting powder, which is really rare for me because I am picky about highlighters, but it's really finely milled and it's not too shimmery, which I like. I like something that has a little bit of glow, but I don't like the shimmer. So I like this highlighting powder and I use it and it's a good product. So if you're looking for something that gives you lots of bronzing options, <laughs> all in one, try this guy out. Moving on to the kitchen. Before I get into the food, I'm going to talk about a product that is a kitchen tool that I love, and that is this spatula. I've never loved a spatula more. I flipped out over this product. This is from Le Creuset. It is very heavy. I'm talking like three to four pounds heavy. Mm, probably not that heavy, probably like two to three pounds. But it is a metal handle and then it has a rubber coating and it's really flexible. The metal is all one piece and then it goes all the way to the end of the spatula and then it's covered in the rubber. And the rubber is heat proof up to, I believe, 450 degrees. But you guys know that I do almost all of my cooking on my Le Creuset and this doesn't scratch it. It's safe to use on any piece that you have from them or any cast iron. The enamel especially you have to be careful with because metal products and plastic products can scrape off your enamel and you don't want to do that to your very expensive cookware. This is also nice and tapered at the end so you can get under things like pancakes or burgers and if it's a good size so you don't end up like flipping your pancake and losing half of it which is just heartbreaking. If you're in my family and you cook, chances are you'll be getting one of these for Christmas. Is that good? I bought like half of my Christmas list this for Christmas. It makes an awesome gift. At least I think it will. I'll let you know what they think. So if you have a really long Christmas list and there's people on that that like to cook, you should get them this spatula. Catch you on the flip side. It should come as no surprise to you guys that I love my tea, especially during this time of year because there's lots of fun new seasonal teas out and I am such a sucker for them. Every time I go to the grocery store and I see like a seasonal display, I'm just easy bait. I'm like suckered right to it. I can't stay away. Bigelow does an awesome job with seasonal products. Every time I see one of their seasonal teas, I buy it even if I think it sounds gross. <laughs> I like have to try it. I don't know what's wrong with me. But this one was a good one. This is the Salted Caramel. It's a black tea and it's bomb. Aside from it being delicious, it's also caffeinated, so you can have it in the morning and it's a great coffee replacement or a coffee addition. But look at the packaging, it has little leaves on it, it's so cute. It definitely tastes like a black tea with a slight caramely background. It's not sweet, but I do add a little bit of stevia to sweeten it up and then the caramel kind of pops a little bit more but it just makes a great afternoon treat, or like I said, it's awesome in the morning with some pancakes. Can you tell I've been eating pancakes lately? But in my opinion, honest tea is the best policy, and I honestly love this guy. I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you guys about a new tuna flavor that I love from Starkist. It is the hot buffalo style. And when I first saw this, I was like, what? That sounds kind of gross, but now I take it with me everywhere. 
You do have to watch out with these products because some of them have MSG, like the ranch flavored ones. But the Buffalo is legit. The macros on it are 0.5 fat, zero carb, and 15 protein. And it's nice and small, so you throw it in your purse, take it with you, and when you're in a pinch, you grab a fork and you eat it. And we have to be honest, I've done this forever, and I used to get just like the plain tuna packs, and then I discovered the flavored ones, and it kind of changed my life. But this hot buffalo one is amazing. They also have like some kids creation ones out, and I have tried the honey barbecue, which is pretty good also, but it does have four grams of carbs. So if you're watching your carbs really, really closely, you'll wanna go with the buffalo. And then if you don't really love the taste of tuna, especially like when you're out and about and just eating it out of the pouch plain, there's like, it's a lot of tuna flavor. The buffalo kind of covers that up a little bit. It gives you a lot of flavor. You don't just taste the tuna, and I'm a huge fan. And then if you want to jazz it up even more, you could throw it on a salad with some ranch, and you have a buffalo tuna salad. What did the buffalo say when his son went to college? Bison. But that's all for October favorites with Sandy from Greece. <laughs> Thumbs up if you guys like this video. As always, all the products I talked about will be linked down below, so go check those out. And I wanna know what you guys dressed up as for Halloween, especially the creative ones. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.